Hi, I bought some shiny stuff again. This time, I think I got it right. Big fan, not so big fan, Hue 2 LED strips, and a thing to control it all. So, since my Hue Plus installation video on NCXT has renewed its RGB line, the Hue Plus is no longer to be found, and they now have this RGB and fan control, so let's take a look at that. Out of the box, you get the controller itself, still with the USB 2 cable that you connect to your motherboard, but unlike the Hue Plus, it is actually now powered by a SATA cable, so finally getting rid of that Molex stuff. On the controller you have two RGB channel inputs where you will be connecting the fans or the strips to power their LEDs. Each channel supports up to 40 LEDs and a fan has 8 LEDs so a channel can have up to 5 fans. In the box there's also three splitter cables that each can hold three fans. The splitters would of course be connected to one of the three fan headers that the controller has. You also get some velcro or magnets that you can use to attach the controller with. Unlike the Corsair RGB fans, where each fan has an RGB cable that you must connect to an RGB hub, these NGXT fans instead have an input and an output channel, and that's because you chain the fans together in one of the RGB channels on the controller. So you will be connecting a cable to one of the channels on the controller and then to the input on the first fan like this. And then from the output on that fan, you then connect the next fan. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually also chain fans and LED strips together with this. For this setup, I bought the 20 centimeters strips but you can get them up to 30 centimeters. However, I already had some old Hue Plus LED strips laying around that I also wanted to use. You can actually connect these first gen LED strips to a controller, but you must run them on their own channel, otherwise the cam software doesn't pick them up. When connecting the LED strips, it's important to note that the small arrow on the connector needs to be aligned with the black line on the LED strips like this. Okay, to summarize, you connect the controller's USB cable to a USB 2.0 header on the motherboard. You connect the SATA cable to a PSU. You connect the fan's power cable to one of the three fan headers on the controller, but you can also use a fan header on the motherboard if that's easy on your setup. And then you have your units chained and connected to one of the RGB ports on the controller. Easy, now do that in a case. Right, so with everything installed, you turn on the computer and if everything works, the LEDs should now light up in white. We need the camp software to make them change color, so download that from the NCXT homepage and boot it up. So once you boot up cam, you can choose the lighting tab down here. And here, here you can see that I have my old Hue 1 strip and I have my two Air 2 and I have my two LED strips here. You can choose different pre-made profiles up here, but I'll just create a new one. Uh, 
And then you can set whatever color scheme you like. The different bands and LED strips to have. You can even set um, individual LEDs. So if I wanted some of them to be blue and I want some of them to be pink and orange, I can do that here. You can also change the speed and all kinds of different stuff. It's very intuitive. Uh, it's not that difficult to figure out. Under the cooling tab, you can see the three fan connectors. The cam software doesn't pick up that you have actually connected a fan or not. It just shows it. But here you can select the different fan curves that you want if you want to, to change some of them. If you click on it, you can see the curve here, and then you can create your own custom curve like this. Right? And there you have it. That is all there is to the NCXT RGB setup. Oh, and by the way, I almost forgot. What about all the cables on the back of the case? Well, you could do this. Just saying. No one will ever notice. But my brain just doesn't function like that, so I need to spend endless hours on fixing how the cables looks, and no one will ever see that. But I will spare you from watching that. And with that, thank you for watching.